What's up? This is Frankie. Let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion. It may not necessarily be factual. Don't buy, sell, or hold a stock because of anything that I say in this video. And plus, man, don't vote on the proposal based on anything that I say in this video. Now, I decided, man, to do these videos the way I've been doing it for the past 90 days is because I feel like some apes, they turn into shields. They turn shields. You see what I'm saying? And the apes, they still want the Moaz, they started calling them shields. They started like gaslighting using reverse psychology. So I was like, man, I'm not going to let that happen all the way up until the vote actually happened. I said, I was going to do video. You see what I'm saying? And some of them probably watching the video right now. So if you're watching the video right now, some of the shields, there you go. See what I'm saying? So look, man, in my opinion, like I said, some of the apes, they turn shields. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of it, I think, was because lack of patience, lack of conviction, and they they end up, man, you know, having a lot of confidence in the proposal that Adam Aaron put out there and then Terry Capital. So they turn shields. You see what I'm saying? So, man, the, the community can see who they are. They don't like the fact that community, the community, they don't like the fact that the community, man, can see who they are. And they don't want people talking about it. You see what I'm saying? And one of them, like I said, man, they probably watching right now, man. Because one thing about, one thing, one thing about people when they doing dirt and when they doing wrong, they all want, they all, they always want to see at what level they being exposed. And see, I also said, I said that I, I also feel like those apes, I feel like they bet it against the apes. They said that they still want the Moaz because they looked at the, they clicked up and they looked at the fact that they said, you know what? And Terry Capital is going to get the, uh, and Terry Capital and Adam Aaron, they're going to get the yes vote. That's how they feel. See, so they are almost sure that they're going, you remember when they was, when everybody in the community was talking about, man, the people that's talking about, no, they just talking, they just hype. It's already wrapped up, man. They already got the yes vote. Don't pay no attention. Uh, don't pay no attention to them when they, when all that kind of stuff was going on. So they was almost sure that Adam Aaron and Interior Capital was going to get the yes vote. So they made a decision, man, to click up with Adam Aaron, some of the apes, and Terry Capital and the one percenters, you know, and they want the ape, the, they want to vote yes for all the proposals. Even though, man, they know it's going to kill the Moaz. You see what I'm saying? But they so, with, and also with a lot of them being so sure that Adam Aaron is going to um, get the yes, the yes vote. Some of them, man, they even sold their AMC shares. They probably don't even have AMC shares no more. They don't, they see, they don't care whether or not we have a Moaz anymore. See what I'm saying? They've created a whole new game plan, a whole new play. But here's the thing. A lot of them, man, they panicking now because they are not sure that Adam Aaron is going to be able to prevail with the yes vote. So they panicking. You see what I'm saying? So my thing is, didn't nobody tell y'all to go out there and sell y'all AMC shares for eight? Didn't nobody tell y'all to go out there and buy all those eight shares? AMC, man, has always been the play. Y'all trying to make eight the play. AMC has always been the play. AMC is what's on the threshold right now. You see what I'm saying? So, man, you know, y'all wanted, y'all want to take a shortcut and try to make money real fast with eight because, man, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you, you lack patience and you lack conviction. You see what I'm saying? And I look at it, man, look, I feel like it's just like what Lou versus Wall Street said. You know, he said, I put it like this when he was talking about, um, Fredo. See, AMC is, Don Mike Corleone, the Don. See, eight is Fredo. He the traitor. But it makes a lot of sense because I see how y'all can relate to Fredo because Fredo was a traitor and y'all traitors. So it make a lot of sense. You see what I'm saying? And then, man, look, you have a particular person, a particular influencer in the community he has an issue with me. First of all, I'm a grown ass man. I listen to whoever I want to listen to. I'm, I can't nobody brainwash me and tell me who to listen to or what to say. I'm a grown ass man, man. So you got a particular influence. He has an issue with me listening to Lou versus Wall Street. 
But let me say this. Why would I listen to you or the people that's in your clique? Why would I listen to any of y'all? Because y'all have, our, y'all have already shown me that you will sell out. So when it comes to the short squeeze play, why would I listen to you? And most of the people, man, if you go into the live streams, you listen, most of the people, man, they either, most of the people that's, that's listening to y'all, they either bots or a lot of them, man, that sold out just like y'all done sold out. Most people, man, that want the Moaz, they not listening to y'all. I'm not listening to you. But let me get back to Lou versus Wall Street. Hey, look, if you listen to Lou versus Wall Street, Lou said, man, he got all eight. That's all he got right now. So naturally, he wouldn't mind it being a yes vote because he'll make money off eight just like y'all making money off eight. But you don't hear Lou versus Wall Street out here, out here trying to intensely kill the Moaz. You know, by telling people to vote yes. He ain't out here, man, telling people to vote yes. He tell people to vote how you want to vote. Although he would benefit from a yes because April Ronnie, he'll make money because he investing in eight. But he ain't trying to kill the Moaz like y'all trying to kill the Moaz. See, y'all out here, y'all out here advocating yes. And I keep saying it, man. Y'all guys that claim that y'all know so much and y'all supposed to be the vanguard for the community. Y'all some of the worst ones. Y'all, y'all some of the biggest problems when it comes to our short squeeze play. So no, man, I'm not listening to y'all. You see what I'm saying, man? My thing is this, man. Everybody see y'all, like I said, in the community. People can see what y'all doing. I can stop making videos today about the zealots, the ones that's following Adam Aaron, the sellout. Hey, man, I can stop making videos today on y'all. It wouldn't matter. People in the community, man, they already see what y'all doing. They already see what you're about. You see what I'm saying? I'm just the one that's saying something publicly about it. But they know who you are, man. They are. They see what you're doing. And I'm going to close with this, man. For me, like I said, man, I'm still for the Moaz. I still think AMC is the play, not A. And I still believe that the proposals put together. Come on, come on. What's up, man? This is my love, my homie, man. He just, he want to bond while I'm doing the video. Get down, get down. I still, I still say, I still say the proposal, stop, man. I still say the proposal just put together by Adam Aaron and Ontario Capital is garbage and they're not good for retail investors. Thank you for taking time out. Watch the video. Have a nice day.